Just because it didn't last forever, doesn't mean it wasn't worth your while. Your work is discover your world and then with all your heart give yourself to it. That man is richest whose pleasures are cheapest. Happiness always looks small while you hold it in your hands, but let it go, and you learn at once how big and precious it is. It was only a sunny smile, and little it cost in the giving, but like morning light it scattered the night and made the day worth living. If thou wilt make a man happy, add not unto his riches but take away from his desires. Plenty of people miss their share of happiness, not because they never found it, but because they didn't stop to enjoy it. Gratitude is a vaccine, an antitoxin, and an antiseptic. No one can make you feel inferior without your consent. And remember, no matter where you go, there you are. If you are too busy to laugh, you are too busy. Security is mostly a superstition. It does not exist in nature. Life is either a daring adventure or nothing. Learn to let go. That is the key to happiness. A quiet secluded life in the country with the possibility of being useful to people to whom it is easy to do good, and who are not accustomed to have it done to them, then work which one hopes may be of some use, then rest, nature, books, music, love for one's neighbor, such is my idea of happiness. For most of life, nothing wonderful happens. If you don't enjoy getting up and working and finishing your work and sitting down to a meal with family or friends, then the chances are you're not going to be very happy. If someone bases his slash her happiness on major events like a great job, huge amounts of money, a flawlessly happy marriage or a trip to Paris, that person isn't going to be happy much of the time. If, on the other hand, Happiness depends on a good breakfast, flowers in the yard, a drink or a nap, then we are more likely to live with quite a bit of happiness.